so here first of all we are connected with our server machine that here we can give the credentials to our server machine and now we are enter into our <coughs> server machine right so here observe this one in this server machine we are easily find out we are easily understand the icon okay it is a oracle application icon mozilla okay here the somebody is changes the name but it is having the name as a oracle apps apps okay so just here observe this one you can double click on this icon okay once we double click on this icon default it is show us home page of oracle application home page of oracle application it is a user tier it is a user tier user tier contains a java applet right here observe this one jsp function jsp function which is help to log into oracle application so here how we can go to log in in sql prompt we know what are the username and password we can easily log in but in oracle application it is a different platform we don't know how to log in into the oracle application once we have the uh, prosper sorry a respected user then only we can possible to log into oracle application so here we have a one global user is there whenever you can install your oracle application your own machines also we have a global user is there that username is operations that username is operations the password is welcome the password is welcome which is small letters only okay if you may if you enter the capital letters of a password it is not accepted password is always case sensitive okay just you can write down the notes here i am giving the username is what operations. operations here if you give the small letters or capital letters both are accepted we don't get any exception okay but when we are giving the password is case sensitive always we should give the small letters the password is welcome password is welcome click on login click on login there so it is a global username okay this global username have several responsibilities so then say very simple example suppose if you join in any company every person is having the responsibilities or not yes. definitely right so definitely every person is having the multiple responsibilities the same manner whenever we are entering to the oracle application through which user we enter here user. means user operations okay that operations have the list of responsibilities these are all or we call it as a responsibilities there are so many responsibilities which are attached to this operation user which are attached to this operation user that here which user operation. operation this operation contains so many responsibilities so here we have a select a respected responsibility okay so here now once we enter into the oracle application once we enter into the oracle application all of you know that how to log in into the oracle application right once we log into the oracle application now we want to create a user. new user now we want to create a user. new user how we are going to create the user which responsibility we want to choose system administrator. system administrator right so in this responsibilities we are going to find out the respected system administrator responsibility then here go to down in that down line we find out a responsibility is called system administrator here observe this one observe carefully lot of people done the same mistakes not a administration administrator administration is a different administrator is ours administrator okay so this is our responsibility so now i want to select this responsibility whenever i am select this responsibility automatically system is going to show us list of functions into the right side okay that here just observe this one click on this one system is going to show us 
what are the functions are attached to that responsibility all functions is going to show here these are all call it as a function each and every one we call it as a function every function is associated with the form every function is associated with the form but right now i am not able to see the forms i am able to see only functions now i want to call the form i want to call the form every function is associated with the form right so here if you want to create the user which form we need to require user form obviously user form is required then for that purpose where we are going to find out the user form which is the navigation we should follow here here observe this one these are all are the functions so here in that all functions which is the function we want to use while create the user okay here we have a one navigation the navigation is observe this one security user define the navigation is security user define you can write it now i want to click on define here that just click on define leave it one click only okay then observe this one system is going to open the all open with main form okay this is our main form this is our main form these are the supported forms these are the supported forms so these are the this is the home page okay this is the supported form supported page another one also supported page but here we have a important do not close this window unfortunately if you directly close this window automatically our work is lost clearly they have specified the information okay automatically the main form also closed all of you clear then again observe this one again i want to show you same thing just i want to close this suppose say example i want to close this this one third form third page okay do not close this one just i want to close this one observe what happen how many forms are there how many pages only two pages at the time we have four when i am going to close the uh, main form automatically main form also closed okay that is the reason now it is not working again we close it again we close it again we are going to log in so nothing to worry if you by mistake you can close the third window also we don't worry about that so our work is lost again we are going to open this one same process okay mozilla here we can give the operations welcome then click on login so here system administrator responsibility administrator and security user define very good security user define automatically it is open the main form of our oracle applications so this is the user form user form okay suppose in case in this point of time unfortunately i close this form i don't know what happened so i want to uh, check it so what happened whether it is closed okay then some people is going to directly close this form nothing to worry nothing to happen here okay because of which is the navigation we follow security user define the same navigation is available here security user define just double click on here it is open okay we no need to worry about that you don't want to go back to the home page and will be click on again because of already i supported <coughs> i have a supported pages again don't go back to home page and will be click on that one okay just here only we can find out you can close this one and navigation security user define okay then here we are going to give the user name here we are giving the user name keep in that right you are not a older person then here observe this one <coughs> we are giving the user name suppose say example 
your username is uh, jpp9 okay suppose say example demo 90 your username is demo 90 your username and next we can go to the password okay whenever we want to create a new gmail account in our application we are giving the password right same like here also we can give the password password here i am giving 654321 654321 so for first time we are giving the password two times twice one is system confirmation another one is user confirmation just you can use the tab again it is asking to us okay 654321 okay now completed now our user is completed right here whenever we completed the our user okay whenever we completed our user it is like as a operation operation is also one of the user right operations contains how many responsibilities how operations user how, contains how many responsibilities there are lot of responsibilities right here in the same manner i want to assign a few responsibilities to this user okay actually i create a new user now i want to assign a few responsibilities to this user which responsibilities we want to assign initially aol objects aol objects right aol objects is required for every user that is the reason whenever we want to create a user we should assign which responsibilities system administrator and application developer system administrator and application developer where we are going to assign these two responsibilities that here we have a responsibility session okay here we are going to assign that responsibilities so what is that here we have two ways is there while click on this button click on this one and here we can give the percentile click on find it is showing list of responsibilities in that responsibilities we are going to find out system administrator responsibility just keep on enter the word automatically we find out the responsibility or else another way is just you can cancel this one here we can give the system observe this one i am giving only system word and choose the tab it is showing the related information only system <coughs> related information what is that the first one is correct so then here we are going to find out administrator okay then now we can give that or else directly we can give the system administrator directly we can enter the full name so if you enter the full name it is taking some time that is the reason you can give the like from back end it is going to pick the data like uh, once we are going to enter the query like system automatically system is going to show us list of <coughs> system uh, list of responsibilities which are the started with system, system the same manner so here then now i assign one responsibility next go to second record second line here we want to assign which one application, application. then here just i am giving three characters and choose the tab and it is showing a list of responsibilities which are started with app here i selected application developer now click on okay now click on okay and save the records save the records now our user is created successfully observe this one in the down line transaction complete three records applied and saved three records means one is user and two is system administrator three is application total three transactions are done in this transactions right so now i completed our user creation all of you clear on that so now i want to log in with our user now we want to log in with our user what is our user demo 90 then here observe this one if you want to directly close it you can directly close it not a problem we don't get any problem 
okay or else if you want to close it you can directly log out also okay then or else we can close it one by one also okay so it is not a licensed application directly can close it we don't get any problem even though licensed version also we don't get any problem okay but we want to follow some standards in real life okay then now i want to log in with our user okay again what we do mozilla then give the username and password here which username we are giving our yes very good demo 90 and password 654321 observe this one now click on login same earlier so many functional so many applications are follow the same rule right so you can give the current password and you can change the new password means that current password is 654321 and a new password is 123456 again 123456 now click on submit how many responsibilities our user have two response but here it is having three responsibility what is uh, what happen here means whenever if you create any user okay some people so does not possible to uh, forget to attach the responsibilities in this point of time system is automatically assign one responsibility that is called as the application diagnostics application diagnostics it is a default responsibility whenever if you create any user automatically it is assigned automatically it is having a one responsibility that is called as the application diagnostics okay but here again we want to use the system administrator and then we are find out the list of functions in that list of functions which navigation we want to follow security user a point same navigations we enter right if you close this one nothing to worry security user defined again we can create one more user okay again same process will be repeated so this is the way we are possible to create the user in oracle application all of you clear clear or <coughs> you want to show us one more time